A year or two back, I tested the Revo Point Mini 3D scanner, which I was very impressed with. Well, this is the new Mini 2 3D scanner from Revo Point. Here I am just doing a quick unboxing. Nicely packaged, comes in this very nice carry case, uh, which I always like. It's nice to have everything organised and easy to store and transport. All nicely packaged inside and padded. You get the little mini bust, which is good if you're new to 3D scanning to practice with. It's just the right size, texture and colour. Little tripod. This extends so you can get different heights on your scans and different angles. Very small and neat. can also act as a handle for handheld scanning. Just with that telescopic top bit. And the turntable. This is a simple mini turntable. Works very, very well. And is ideal for these uh, scanners that specialise in small detailed objects. And this is the scanner itself. Just got a nice feel of quality about it. Well made. Feels solid looks very smart this has a single frame precision of up to 0.01 millimeters and a single frame accuracy of up to 0.04 millimeters it has a 16 frame per second capture so uh, it can capture up to 8 million points per second it has an upgraded rgb camera which lets in more light which is much better if you want to do coloured scans. It also now has three buttons on the back of the actual scanner for when you're using it handheld. These are for start and pause and plus and minus buttons to change the exposure on the camera. Now also has USB-C data port connector and Wi-Fi 6 connectivity. This is a blue light scanner so it's not eye safe so if you're scanning a face make sure their eyes are shut and don't scan your pets with it this is incredibly easy to set up got a quick release on the tripod and this USB-C connector has got a little screw on the back just to hold it in place so it doesn't fall out when you're scanning all very neat USB-C adapter comes with it which is very handy because I use a MacBook and a phone holder for when you set it up to be handheld. Just connecting it to my MacBook and you will need to do an, uh, an initial calibration with it. I'm going to start by scanning this uh, European Badger skull. This is a real skull so it really has got masses of detail. And we're going to do it on the turntable. I find turntable scanning works best for these sort of uh, high detailed small object scanners. Revo scan software shows you how close you need to be to the subject. And this scanner is very good in that it's got a very wide operating depth. Which makes scanning sort of elongated objects like this very simple. Having spent many hours using 3D scanners... I've sort of developed a little workflow that I use and I tend to do several scans at different heights and angles and I keep them all separate and merge them at the end after I've fused the point cloud. You can see me turning the skull over on its side to get all the underside and the other angles. You can just do it by adding one scan to another but if you get a problem with one of the scans, it makes it harder to fix. I find the Revo scan software is excellent for merging scans, so I tend to keep the scans separate and merge them at the end. So I'm just uh, letting the turntable do its job. Don't do more than one full revolution because you're just capturing points again that you've already caught. Here's the software. You can see the green shows the areas it's scanning and the blue are the areas it's already scanned. 
I find it absolutely fascinating how this works. As you can see, it keeps track amazingly well. And I use auto exposure on the uh, depth camera. I find this works very, very well. You can manually set the exposure, but I find auto works just fine. So that's uh, the scan complete there, and you, I process it and then do another scan at a different angle, so I'm higher up, so I'm capturing the top of the skull then. You need to try and do it so that you capture as much of the detail and areas of the skull as you can in as few a scans as possible. But you'll need to experiment. Try different things. Prop the uh, object you're scanning up with various things so you can scan it at different angles. Here I'm merging scans. And I started off by getting a whole load of them here. You can only merge them once the point cloud has been fused. And, and there it is, it shows you a sort of a preview of the merged scans. I was amazed it managed to uh, merge all these in one go. And then you generate a model from that. And there it is. Came out brilliantly. You can see there's a few little isolated islands and things, which you always get these little anomalies when you do the scans. But you can then uh, process the uh, point cloud, the fused point cloud. You can use the one click processing uh, button on this if you want. I tend to do it manually, so I've got a little bit more control over hole filling and detail. Here I'm just picking out all those isolated bits and deleting them. You can do this at several different stages in the processing. Sometimes after you've meshed the model, you might find you've got a few more little isolated islands, so check the isolation again and you can delete those. Very, very quick and easy to use, the software is. You can see how good this scan is. This is it in preview on my Mac. Really impressive. And I didn't use any scanning spray on this, and even the shiny teeth came out well. But that was the whole skull, top and bottom jaw. But you get a better result really if you scan the upper and lower jaws separately which is what i'm doing here you get more detail on the teeth if you do that and there it is i find it absolutely fascinating it's one of my favorite aspects of 3d design 3d printing this is a much much smaller skull i think this is a mink skull I was given a long time ago and you can see this is tiny it's in the same family of animals so it's a similar skull but much much smaller It'd be a good test as to whether it can pick up all the teeth and everything so just doing the same thing same process I've sped up some of this, just uh, so you can see uh, how it all works. Much the same as I say, turning over for different angles. Here I'm merging the fused point clouds. You can see there it failed to merge them. I'd put too many together with not enough overlap. And the beauty of this software is it's very easy to select which scans you want to merge. And sometimes it works much better to merge them in pairs 
and then merge the two merged scans. But you can go back and redo it and try different things and try merging different scans together to get the best result. Just deleting those isolated points. And then processing. I've sped up some of this footage as I say. But very pleased with that. Considering how small that skull is, that is amazing. Incredible detail. And there it is in preview. But it shows that you could use this scanner for professional use. It's more than capable of uh, professional scans for study and that kind of thing. So here's a crab claw, another small object with lots of detail. And it just worked seamlessly, really good. So as it works round, you can see the colour changing. Here it's just picked up a bit of the edge of the turntable. So I'm using the lasso tool to highlight that and then delete that. There's another little anomaly there we'll get rid of. And then we can merge the scans. So we get a preview of the merge just to make sure it's doing it right. And you can see they've lined up perfectly. And there it is, and I'm just highlighting a few of these little anomalies that you sometimes get, just lassoing them and deleting them. It'll get rid of the isolated points automatically if you tell it, but sometimes these little blobs are attached to your main scan. So just use the lasso tool. But that is amazing. Very uh, useful for some of my freaky creations, my 3D designs I do. And this is a highly detailed spider crab shell. Very small, lots of detail. This looked amazing while it was being scanned. Looked like something out of a sci-fi film. And once again, scanned it various angles upside down right way up and uh, I even stood it on its end in a cup you just delete the cup before processing but there it is this was amazing I was absolutely blown away by the uh, the quality of that scan it's a very thin object and it worked beautifully and then I thought I'd better do some colour scanning. So this is a giant megalodon shark tooth fossil, which I'm going to be selling, I think. So I thought I'd do a colour scan of it first, just so I've got a record of it. I don't usually bother with colour scans, but uh, here it is without the surface texture. This is just the model, and you can see the detail it's picked up on that. Very, very happy with it. Amazing teeth, these. This is the new Mini 2 3D scanner from RevoPoint. Many thanks to RevoPoint for sending this to me um, to test and review. I have to say I've been very, very impressed. Uh, it is really good. It keeps track nicely, the software is easy to use, and the results I achieved were quite exceptional. It is for smaller, higher detailed scans, uh, which is perfect. It's what I enjoy doing most, and I had great fun scanning some little animal skulls, which have got infinitely more detail than some man-made ornament or toy. So really a good way of testing a scanner like this. But yes, very, very impressed. As with all these scanners, be prepared to do a bit of experimenting, scanning at different angles, combining and merging the scans in different ways. 
I find it's better to do several scans, uh, fuse the uh, point clouds on them and then merge them uh, separately uh, before processing them. The Revo Scan 5 software is very, very good and you can use their one-click editing uh, button on there which will do a lot of the processing for you. I'd prefer to do it manually and put my own settings in. But as I say, you know, be prepared to do a little bit of experimenting on how you scan and it does take a bit of practice. I've obviously had quite a lot of practice that I've uh, tried quite a few scanners now. This one I have to say for small objects uh, I've really found to be exceptionally good. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. I should be back soon with some more videos. More rubbish coming soon.